so hey guys welcome back once again and in this video what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna test different models in stable diffusion and try to generate with same prompt using different models so in this video i'm gonna try five different models such as streamlight diffusion mid journey open journey protogen x3.4 and stable diffusion 512 so basically what i'm gonna do is that i will generate five images from each model using same prompt the only thing i'm gonna do is that i will just add a trigger prompt for the respected model and will just generate five images from it in the end what i'm gonna do is that i will just select one best image generated from each model and let you decide that which model has generated the best image so let's get started so the first model that i'm using is dreamlike diffusion model i will go in an order so the first one is dreamlike diffusion and this is the prompt that I'm using, Octane Render of an Evil Scary Clone wearing Cyberpunk Streetwear, Detail Portrait, Integrate Complexity and so on. Okay, so this is the prompt that I'm using and this is the prompt trigger prompt for Dreamlike Diffusion, Dreamlike Art. So that's I'm using and let's delete this and let's try to generate 5 images. So these are the 5 images that I generated. Now what I will do is that I will just change the model and let's see what images do we get in the next model. So the next model that I am using is mid journey v4 ckpt ok. So I will add the trigger prompt for this model md journey dash v4. This is the trigger prompt for mid journey v4 checkpoint. So let's get started. So 5 images with mid journey v4 are done. So now I will just change on to next model and let's see. So now that the third model is loaded open journey v2. This is a similar model to mid journey v4 and similar to like mid journey style. So let's start generating with this as well. Okay so done with open journey v2.ckpt and now let's jump on to the next model. So the next model that I'm using is protogen x3.4 and yeah this is one of the best model that is available right now for stable diffusion. So let's get started with this model. So here are the 5 images that we generated using protogen x3.4 photoreal model and now let's jump on to stable diffusion 2.1 5 and 2 model so now as you can see stable diffusion 2.1 5 and 2 model is loaded so let's generate and let's check out so now that we are already done with each models five images from each models so now what i will do is that i will show five images from each models and will select one best image from each model and then compare every best image with every models okay so let's get started so first of all these are the images from dreamlike diffusion okay so as you can see a pretty good images as you can see each and every images is a very detailed images i just loved every images as you can see over here so pretty good images so in the end what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna select one best image from this okay. So in this from from Dreamlike Diffusion I just love this image okay. I also love this image as well and the first one as well this image as well. I'm gonna go with last image okay. Every image is a good image as you can see this one as well. This one is also a pretty good image okay. So this is just for fun okay. So first I will go with this image okay. Okay, so here I am with another model that is mid journey v4 ckpt model. So as you can see each and every image is, is a very good and a very detailed image. So I'm just bit confused with this so which to select. But yeah, there is a quick solution for this. So as you can see each and every image is a good image. But I'm just confused to what I do select. Okay, so for now I'm gonna go with like this or this image, whatever it is. So the reason why I'm going to go with this both image is that only because as you can see uh, it's not a perfect like teeth and you can see as here as well not a perfect teeth as well here as well every image was a good image as you can see but in this I'm going to go with like this 
I just love this image as well. Okay, it's like totally different from other images as well. So yeah, I will go with this and yeah. Okay, so here I am with images generated by Open Journey V2 model. This model is similar to Mid Journey V4 CKPT model. But one thing I learned is that this model goes to a dark side. As you can see, it's total to a dark theme. The first earlier two models were like total towards like colorful models. But this model goes towards a dark side. Okay, dark theme. So in this, I just love this image. Okay, this one bottom left one. So this was the image that I loved in this model. This was also great. I didn't like other images because of deformation. As you can see lips over here, you can see teeth over here and you can see lips here as well. So in this, what I loved is I loved this image. So I will go with this image. Okay. So now let's jump on to next model. So now here we are with fourth model and yeah, I'm totally shocked with this model. Okay. First of all, these are the images generated by Protogen X 3.4 photorealism model and you can see the details okay none of the images are deformed as you can see each and every image is a very detailed image so I'm gonna let you decide which image is a better I'm totally confused in this model okay so each and every image is a good image okay I'm not gonna go with this image okay this is low so I'm just gonna cancel it other four images are very detailed as you can see the faces the eyes in this image in this models okay so each and every image is very very good very amazing and sharp detailed image so i just loved the images generated by this model okay so in this i'm gonna go with I, i'm totally confused and i'm totally gonna go with like this one okay i just loved this one as well okay not this one but this one so let's go with this there is something shadow no shadow over here but oh it's okay and this was also a very good detailed image by like protogen x3.4 as you can see teeth eyes everything is in much detail so much detail so i just loved images generated by this model okay so in this i'm gonna go with this red one bottom right okay so now let's jump on to next and last model that is stable diffusion 2.1 model okay okay so here we are with the last model that is stable diffusion version 2.1 512 model so as you can see the first and the bottom left bottom left images are very good images okay so these are not that bad images okay so i'm pretty impressed with version 2.1 as well as you can see a pretty good detail as well in every images just a deformation and yeah you can correct this deformation with negative prompt as well okay a good negative prompt can correct these images and yeah you will get a good result out of it so i'm not gonna uh, talk negative about this you can correct this with a good prompt okay you need to be good with prompt in stable diffusion 2. Point. so for me in these images i will go with two of this image so i'm gonna go with bottom left image okay bottom left image as you can see and now that we are with the last model let's jump on to each and every best image that we selected okay so let's jump on okay guys so here i am with each best images that i selected from each model so from left as you can see this is a dreamlike diffusion image okay this is a dreamlike diffusion image and this was one of the best image that we generated with dreamlike diffusion the second one is mid journey v4 ckpt image that i selected from five image and this is a pretty good image as well the third one is open journey v2 ckpt okay just similar to mid journey v4 ckpt so this is the image that we generated with open journey v2 ckpt and the fourth one is protogen x 3.4 photorealism okay so in this this is the fourth one and the last one is with stable diffusion version 2.1 so now i'm not gonna compare here okay i'm not gonna go with any winner as well i'm just gonna show you that these are the images that we get with each model and as you can see i'm just pretty impressed with each and every images okay each and every model has its own style to generate image okay as you can see uh, these are very colorful images from a uh, dreamlike diffusion and like mid journey v4 ckpt and as you can see open journey is just a similar model to uh, mid journey as well but 
both generated different images earlier i also said that open journey focused totally towards a dark theme and as you can see clearly it's totally towards a dark theme and this is very colorful image and the next one is this one so yeah i just liked the images generated by a protogen model as you can see it's very detailed not a single deformation as you can see yeah protogen i can definitely say is one of the best model right now as you can see there are no literally zero deformations over here so i can definitely say that protogen right now is best model and this is the last images that i generated with stable diffusion 2.1 okay so i will let you decide which is the best model right now in like stable diffusion and yeah i'm not gonna compare anything over here so i just love every model one of my favorite model is dreamlike diffusion and the next one is protogen model so these two models i use a lot right now okay so so i will let you decide in this video that which one is the best model okay so this video was just for fun not a knowledge based video i was just having fun with different model so that's it for today i will be back with more and interesting videos tomorrow till then have a good day guys bye guys love you all guys bye guys